Sure, gang, and welcome back to Uncomfortable Growth, hosted by none other than your girl, Google Tinga Zumba, Juju Letwa, Sister You to Sam. This is Uncomfortable Growth. To my returning subscribers to the gang, I hope that you guys are well at home. And to those that are passing by, I hope you like what you see and you join the gang, please. I hope you like what you see and you join the gang, please. I hope you like what you see and you join the gang, please. I hope you like. What did you say? And you join it, gang, yeah, please. Okay, guys, we are on the road to 80 thugga 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 thousand. And I'm so excited, you know, I think I really needed this to just bring me back to YouTube to get serious, you know what I'm saying? So, gang, yeah, do your ting, yeah, get everyone you know to subscribe. I think we're like 600 subscribers away from 80 thugga thugga thousand, which is crazy. I don't know why I'm singing and making so much of a noise, but I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. Guys, you guys have asked me to do a video on how it is my friends and I made Afro Nation possible. So if you don't know, you should know. My friends and I went to Afro Nation in Portugal earlier this year in July, and we had the time of our lives. If you've not watched my vlog, go watch my vlog first, and then we'll talk about the logistics afterwards, okay? Go see the guitar. And then we'll talk about the money that was spent a little bit later. Yeah, so you guys asked me to do a video on that. So that is what I'm doing. It won't be long, won't be a long video, but I'm just talking through the process. So Afro Nation came up with tickets and there are three tickets that are sold. That is General VIP and Golden Circle. We got VIP tickets. And if I'm not mistaken, I think our tickets were 8,000 Rand, which is a lot. But what was cool is that it came off as a debit order. So when you sign up for your tickets, I think you pay an initial fee and then after that they like take off 2,000 Rand or just about 2k each month until you've paid off your ticket. I want to say maybe VIP is between 8 and 12. I'm not quite sure. I'll check that. But maybe Golden Circle was 12. Mm. Um, VIP was cool. However, if you are going to Afro Nation and you can afford to get VIP, I would say do it. I think it's going to take your experience at the festival to a whole new level. Obviously, Golden Circle, you are right by the stage. You are closest to the stage. VIP had a lot more people than what I thought. You know, and when we bought VIP tickets, our thinking was that like, oh no, we don't want to have to like wait in long lines or, you know, we want to be closer to the stage. And I guess we were, but to even be as close to the stage as possible in VIP, you had to like get there first. Otherwise you're at the back of the class. You know what I'm saying? We were pushing, we were making plans to go see Remy in the front. You understand? So if you can get Golden Circle, definitely do that. I know it's pricey. If you get VIP, that's also okay. If you get general, you'll also be more than okay. Um, However, with VIP, you know, like, it was very packed. Like I said, a lot of people got VIP, so it was giving more general, in our opinion, because you think that when you're paying, like, when you're paying so much, you gonna feel like you're in VIP, but that wasn't the case. Um, the entrance was packed, the food lines were packed, the bathrooms were far, but it was, like, on a beach, so I can imagine that any bathroom that you want to go to, even the golden circle would have been far depending on where you are um but yeah i think like we expected more from vip and it wasn't that but it, like we didn't have a bad time so if we could redo it i know if there's one thing we do is we would make sure and save and get golden circle just so that we are up close and peasant now you know what i'm saying so we're enjoying it so yeah that um that's the process of getting the tickets it's really cool that they set up a debit order thing for you so you can pay a certain amount of money monthly instead of just having to pay for the ticket once off Cool, now that you have your ticket, you're obviously going to Europe, you're going to Portugal, okay? You're going to have to apply for a visa. And you do that through, I think we went to VS, VFS Global, and you apply for a Schengen visa. When applying for your visa, I would advise doing it as soon as you can, a month in advance, a month and a half to two months before your trip, just so that there is enough time to process your visa. Your visa. If there is a problem, you have time for it to come back, you can reapply, you can do everything you need to do. But what is tricky about the visa um, application process is that when you go, you need to have your shit together. So they are going to ask for three things. I think it's three. They, no, more than three things, damn. Um, but you're gonna have to have your accommodation booked, your flight booked, as well as your travel insurance. From my understanding, you do not have to have your accommodation and flight paid for. You just need to show that it is booked. I don't necessarily know how you can like provisionally book a 
uh, a flight, you know, a plane ticket, but you can do that. Um, and our accommodation was already paid for, luckily, and I think our flights were sorted. So, yeah, but if you haven't paid for that, that's okay. Then travel, a sh oh, but obviously, like, make the booking so they can clap that you're serious and you have a place to stay. Then you're going to have to get travel insurance, and I got that at my closest, at my closest travel agency. And I think it was about a thousand rand. Guys, traveling is expensive. It's nice, but if there's one thing Afro Nation showed me is that if you are going to travel, you are going to need the money, okay? So yeah, so travel insurance is about a thousand rand and that is just to ensure that if you get sick whilst there, there are some funds that are set aside for you to go to the hospital, see a doctor, do all of that. It's imperative, okay? You can't get a visa without it. So you take those three things as well as a banking statement. Um, I can't remember how much they said it is that you need in your bank account, but you need you know, to be able to show that you can afford to be where you're at. So it's not a small amount. I want to say it was 8,000 Rand, like a minimum of 8,000 Rand in your bank account. Which is also crazy. Because life is a boiler. One day you're up and one day you're down. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we had to take all of that, including we added extra documentation, like our vaccination cards. They didn't necessarily ask for that. And you go through the whole process. So fill out a form, say how long you're staying for, what you'll be doing give in all of your paperwork and then i think the processing of it takes 10 to 14 days yeah i called it quite close but that was because i was traveling um and you leave your passport yeah i was traveling beforehand so i obviously couldn't leave my passport i had to you know take it um but yeah i got mine in 14 days i do think i was a little bit lucky because i was calling it very very close and the visa application process is 2000 rand I've spoken about the ticket, I've spoken about travel insurance, I have spoken about what's needed in your bank account, I've spoken about how much the visa is itself, okay? So that's that, and flights weren't that bad, I do think we booked them at a really good time, I think it was about 8,000 Rand for a return. That was the one thing where I was like, okay, cool, it could have been worse, it could have been more, and accommodation wasn't cheap, um, but we split it amongst my friends, so we didn't feel it as much, I think each person had to put to, like, put 5,000 Rand towards accommodation. Guys, this trip was expensive, okay? This trip was expensive, we had to save, but it was definitely worth it. So yeah, that's what we had to pay for getting there. Um, and also make sure that you have your yellow fever, because the day we caught our flight at the poli uh, police station, damn! At the airport, they asked for our yellow fever. Um, I do think they asked for it because we had a connecting flight and we stopped in Angola first. And I know that when traveling within Africa, you're most probably going to be asked for your yellow fever. Also, if you don't have your yellow fever, I think it's about 700 Rand. Yeah, it lasts for 10 years and I had to redo mine for Portugal or actually no, for a trip before Portugal. And that was 700 Rand, so that's more money for you. Now, whilst you are at the festival, let me talk about the festival. Um, Great, wonderful time, lovely people. There were a lot of South Africans, a lot of people from the UK, some Americans, um, and Europeans. So yeah, those were the people that I got to interact with the most. If you're looking to just meet people, if you're looking to be free, if you're looking to wear what you want and shake that nyash on whoever is behind you, Afro Nation is the place for you, baby. Every nation is the place for you. The Ama Piano stage was hands down the best stage um, between that and the hip hop and the main stage. Like some main performances were really good, but the vibe at the Ama Piano stage, guys, like getting to experience Ama Piano with the rest of the world and seeing how much they enjoy it is crazy. Like we are in the land of superstars, okay? We are in the land of Ama Piano. I w I've never been so proud to be South African. Like, shout out to all the South African acts that were at Afro Nation. Y'all killed it. So that was lovely. If honestly, guys, freedom. Like, I have never felt so free in my life. It was not like did, you can wear anything to nothing. You are in a different place. No one knows you. Wah! Okay, like if you are gyrating, guys. Obviously, the crowd is huge. You listening to music, you know what I'm saying? You're having a good time. You're whining on yourself, no? <laughs> on yourself, no. You're whining on yourself, right? And then someone's behind you and they're catching the wine. Now you guys are whining together, you know, you're throwing it back. Just a vibe. Just a vibe. I miss it so much. <laughs> okay, um, however, I did not enjoy the food at the festival at all. So 
yeah i don't know if they're gonna fix that for the one in portugal next year i do think my friends and i are going back next year um but try eat before the festival you're bound to get hungry it is a very very long day okay i'm having a good time but yeah try eat beforehand so that you only have to have one meal whilst you're at the festival alcohol was ridiculously expensive at the festival it does not make sense a festival that is centered or rather like marketed towards the young working class ain't no ways like i think like a double henny was gonna it was somewhere around 180 for a double henny at a festival at a festival they wanted us to drink water what most of us did was that we decided to buy bottles of wine they were cheaper each person had a bottle of wine it lasts you longer it gets you to where you need to go it was a good time you just held your bottle of wine like this <laughs> You didn't necessarily have to worry about anything else so that's what we did um yeah the music was good i think the sound quality was good like whoo the sound was amazing time of our lives um yeah i think that's all really i can say about the festival like it was just an amazing time also life in europe is expensive you're going to europe do you understand the euro guys also have money like generally have money i think we had all budgeted you know, a certain amount of money that we thought we were going to need whilst there. And I can tell you between the four of us, each person spent more money than what it is they had budgeted. And also, I didn't feel it in the moment because I was like, okay, yeah, swipe, 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 swipe. I came home. I came home. And I checked my bank accounts and it was looking back at me and I was looking at it. And there was nothing there. There was not Guys, Europe finished us like to the point where it has taken some of us some time to genuinely recover financially completely worth it i would do it again but it is expensive you know like the euro to the rand is not a joke and if you are wanting to stay in europe for a little bit longer like before the festival after the festival obviously you're going to eat out you're going to want to travel you're going to want to do all these things so yeah just be smart save as much money as you can it is not cheap but it's worth it oh like i said the drinks were expensive but they were like wristbands where you upload cash onto and i think there was like a minimum of oh, i think i'd be lying if i said there was a minimum of 100 euros on each card did i have a minimum no i didn't have a minimum i'm lying i'm lying jk but at the festival we spent so much money just on alcohol and food itself so yeah guys it is not cheap but it is doable you know we had started speaking about it the year before when tickets came out in jan we, we jumped on we had six months you know to save our money make things happen it almost didn't happen there were a number of times where we were like we cannot do this all right we can't but we did we did and we're gonna do it again now in regards to afro nation in ghana i don't think my friends and i are gonna go just because the lineup is predominantly south african artists and we're very blessed in that we have seen majority of these artists here at home um but we do or let me speak for myself i do have big intentions on of being in ghana during afro nation i may not go to the festival but i will be in ghana do you understand okay because the time i had in ghana Guys, I can't imagine Afro Nation in Ghana. I think it's gonna be wild. And the, again, the only reason I'm not going is because of the headlines. Um, but I think the vibe is gonna be sensational. Also going to Afro Nation in an African country with more black people. A disaster, the kind that I like. All right, so yeah, if you guys have any more questions, definitely ask me in the description box below um i'm struggling to also remember the airline that we flew with it gave us trouble so we booked our flights online through like a travel not a travel agency um yeah but i feel like it's an online travel agency we didn't buy them directly from the airline itself and that proved to be a very big problem because if you need to move your flight these people are not based in south africa so you're gonna have to call them that side and the chances of them being able to move your flight very slim uh, and also maybe the price that you'd have to pay to move your flight ridiculous so moving forward what we will do is that i will go to a travel agency when having to book my flight because if anything happens and i need for it to be changed moved shifted anything yeah it'll just make my life a whole lot easier guys i love y'all keep it cute keep it fly keep it fresh hot girl summer where you at what it does have a good day love you guys